Hello everyone, my name is Mad Radio DX uh, UK and I want to welcome you to this video where I'm giving an, uh, an update on how I'm getting on with my two Baofeng uh, DM1701 uh, DMR uh, transceivers. Now what it is is that um, the last video I did was my unboxing video um, and they, these two, uh, they came from uh, AliExpress and uh, according to uh, the description for uh, that I saw on AliExpress um, both were going to have open the open gd 77 uh, firmware installed one did the other one didn't all right so uh, what i had to do was uh, for this this one here i had to install open gd uh, 77 uh, which i eventually uh, managed uh, so very pleased uh, with that um and uh, yeah and i can also say as well is that um, i'm already making contacts via dmr using this uh, second um, DM1701 as a hotspot because like I said with the OpenG77 firmware you can do it with uh, you, you know you can use your DM1701 as a hotspot I think you can do it with the stock firmware of the Baofeng but I'm not so sure but in any case it works very well with the open gd77 firmware and i recommend anybody that has these transceivers to install like i said the open g open gd77 uh, firmware as you can see here so yeah so let me just show you yeah uh, just going to see if i can bring up the firmware info i think i just gone past it here we go and there we are open gd77 and um, just something else as well um i've updated this one here the one that came with open gd77 updated it to the latest version and yeah it still works uh, very well so yeah there you go right so um what it is is that i had problems trying to um, get uh, these two transceivers uh, working properly but also trying to flash them to open gd77 well the first one was actually flashing the firmware this one this second transceiver um, what happened was that uh, on my desktop PC, because I've got um, about uh, four PCs at home, um, on my desktop, my main PC, um, I needed to stall, install the DFU uh, driver, the uh, USB DFU driver, so that I could get this um, transceiver working into my PC in DFU mode so I can flash it, um, you know, can flash the OpenGD77 firmware onto it um, and what happened was that it just didn't want to install at all it just didn't want to come out in device manager i don't know what was happening so um, after about two or three hours trying i gave up in the end and i thought look i'll try my laptop which um see if that works now my main desktop pc has windows 10 but it's always updated it's always updated to the latest uh, version and oh you know any updates that come through uh you know windows 10 will update uh, accordingly automatically and always keep my uh, windows 10 uh, operating system nice and safe the problem though uh, in my experience with keeping windows 10 up to date is that after you do an update some applications and some drivers don't work um, and then you have to wait for another update to fix that or you have to wait for an update from those programs or drivers so that um, you know it works you know uh, your drivers and so on can work properly so what i did was i went back i went to my uh, windows 10 laptop um, which is not updated it's i think i haven't did, updated it for three or four years i know i shouldn't do that because it's a security concern but i'm always very wary you know of what happens on my uh, operating system on my laptop anyway so um, what i did was i tried installing the dfu driver on that and it worked right so my guess is that the windows 10 updates um you know uh, have broken the dfu support um at the moment so yeah so thankfully i was able to flash this to open gt77 so one thing to bear in mind like i said if uh, your your pc you cannot get the dfu driver installed to flash your uh, baofeng uh, transceiver try on another pc that hasn't been uh, updated or maybe try a virtual operating system um with uh, an older windows 10 uh, virtual oper operating system and see if uh, that works okay the second problem i had was that uh, every time when i was testing uh my uh power thing uh, when i was transmitting um, on my first one here what happened um was that at, uh, i was um, 
using the DMR Parrot Group. Now, the DMR Parrot Group, what you do is that you talk into it and it talks back to you with the audio recording of your transmission, right? So if I was to say, hello, can you hear me? Then that uh, group, that talk group would answer me back with my, you know, my, um, you know, that uh, transmission, you know, and it's to test to see, you know, how my audio quality is, you know, when I'm transmitting. And what happened was that every time I talked to it, uh, the result I got back was that my audio was very garbled, something that's very typical with digital radio when you don't have it set up properly or when your signal is low. So what I did was uh, I went into the Open GD77 um, software, as you can see here, that um, you can change configurations in your Bafang transceiver with Open GT77. And what I did was, uh, if I can show it here, right, there we go. So I had it set up to one watt of power. Um, and uh, what I did was I upped it up to five watts of uh, power. And then I uh, started transmitting on the uh, on talk group 91 which is an open talk group worldwide for uh, DMR. Um, and as soon as I was uh, calling out CQ, giving my call sign, um, I had somebody calling me back and I asked them how to report and they said I sounded great. And then a few other people were calling me. Um, I talked to some more people and they said the same thing as well, that the audio quality um, that I was uh, transmitting with was uh, great. So I'm very pleased uh, with that. I'm very pleased as well that these cheap power things, um, you know, I thought maybe going, you know, at the price that we're going, maybe it's uh, it's not a worthwhile purchase. I should get something more expensive and so on. But actually for such a uh, cheap price, it works, uh, works very well. And the total price of these two uh, transceivers was 88 British pounds, convert that to your local currency with everything included tax and uh, postage. And yeah, for that cheap price to have these two uh, DMR transceivers, it you know I'm very, very pleased about that. So I can uh, fully recommend these um, Barofeng DM1701s for DMR, um, for hotspotting. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a great uh, choice if, for example, you don't want to spend a lot of money on a DMR because you're not sure if, you know, if it's for you or not. So, yeah, so those were the two problems, I, uh, the main problems that uh, I had. Like I said, I'm on the air now doing, um, you know, d uh, contacts via DMR using my hotspot, uh, mostly on Talk Group 91, the worldwide one, the worldwide Talk Group. And yeah, I hope to, if you do DMR stuff as well and you're a radio amateur, hope I can make a contact uh, with you as well. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to show you is my hotspot working. I, I don't want to solve the things together, they want to become operators. I think they scope for an operator license because this is almost what telephone wants to be. Um, well, a little bit different, but yeah, I think even the youngsters in, they might become interested in, in uh, HF. Just my point of view, but the old guard here. Okay, so uh, uh, just showing my uh, hotspot working here. So this is the uh, bar thing that I transmit with. This is the software that I use so I can enable uh, my second bar thing to act as a hotspot. Here is... Okay. So that's my hotspot transceiver over there. There's no audio on that one. I'm using the audio from my um, Barofeng that I transmit on. So there you are. Okay. Don't know if you can see. There you go. Sorry about that. Yep. So that's uh, my second Barofeng acting as a hotspot. And it's connected to my laptop using the uh, programming cable that you use to flash your... Uh, bow things. Okay. So yeah. I know. I don't know if you're aware that they do have a STEM net. It's on. There's a STEM talk group. I can't think off the top of my head. And there you are. That's my hotspot, and that's my whole setup working now. Um, I'm gonna see if I can do a few contacts um, this evening um, on the talk group uh, 91. And uh, yeah, if this inspires you, well, why not go for it? Because like I said, it really is worth it, even though it can be a little bit of a steep uh, learning curve, um, you know, trying to get uh, DMR working. So thank you very much for watching 73s. I'll see you in another video.